Hello everyone, it's Mel from Stocksbridge Guitar Tech. I hope you're all well while you're safely locked in your homes. Uh, I've got a little lesson for you today. Now, I'm going to be covering intervals and building chords from intervals, but I'm going to split the video into two parts so that it's not so long. Uh, so part one, we'll just do the intervals. Now I have covered intervals in a previous video but they're always worth going over again these because they're so important in music and they're especially useful for guitar players like us uh, very useful for building new chords so we're going to look at intervals today so let's get started I am assuming here that you know your keys, your major and minor keys, and that you've got a good grasp of the notes on the fretboard. Uh, you really should know all of the note names on the fretboard, so you should know that that's a G sharp, for example, uh, or that that's a G. So if you don't know those things, then I suggest you go and watch some videos or some of my earlier videos and learn the note names first on the fretboard and learn your major and minor keys so that you know the difference between a major scale and a minor scale. I'm going to be using A for this example, the key of A. So in a key, if we say we're in the key of A, that could be A minor or it could be A major. The root note is going to be the same. So in the key of A, our root note is going to be A. So the open fifth string is an A. So that could be our root note or we could use the lower string at the fifth fret. It's the same note. Or we could use this A or this A. All of those could be classed as our root note in the key of A. If we're in the key of C sharp, then this C sharp would be our root note, or this C sharp, or this C sharp, or this one. So whatever key we're in, the root note takes the same name as that key. So we're going to say we're in the key of A. In Western music we have 12 notes and if we play all 12 notes without missing any out that's called a chromatic scale so in our key of A that would sound like this so that's 12 notes from there to there which is our seventh and then the next note is the same, it's the octave of the open A. We've got 12 notes, but in the standard major scale and the standard minor scale, we only use 8 of those 12 notes. We don't use them all. So let's look at the A major scale. So we have seven notes and then the eighth note now is the octave. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're back to the A again on the eighth note. That's why it's called the octave. Oct meaning eight. So in this major scale, we've, we start with the root note. The root note is neither major or minor, it's just the root note. The next interval we have, the next note is here, this B. You can see that's two semitones up from the root note. Very conveniently on guitar, a semitone we can think of as one fret. A step of one semitone equals a step of one fret. So if we move up two frets to our second note in the A major scale, We've moved up two semitones and that interval from that A to that B is called a, a second, a major second. 
then our next note in this scale is here at the fourth fret so we're moving up four frets from the room or four semitones and that's our third in the scale because it's the third note of the scale one two three so that's the major third so we've got room major second major third now the next note is here at the fifth fret so we've moved up five frets or five semitones and this interval is the fourth now the fourth again you'll notice I didn't say major fourth there is no major fourth or minor fourth it's just the fourth it's actually called a perfect interval so that's the fourth and it's five semitones up from our root note so now the fifth note of the major scale is seven semitones up from the root note or seven frets so one two three four five six seven and that interval is a fifth and again it's not major or minor this this is like the fourth it's a perfect interval these two are called perfect intervals so we have major second uh, room major second major third fourth fifth then our next note is here so this is nine semitones or nine frets up from that open air this is our major sixth so again we're back to the major minor so that's a major sixth and then our final note in this scale before we get to the octave is here so that's 11 frets or 11 semitones up from the room and this again is called a major seventh and then we've got the octave and the octave like the room the fourth and the fifth is a perfect interval so it's not major it's not minor so all of those intervals in this major scale room major second major third fourth fifth major sixth major seventh and octave so those are the intervals in a major scale that's any major scale so if we were in the key of C major we'd have those same intervals except we'd start here so now we'd have room major second major third fourth fifth major sixth major seventh an octave right so let's look at the other intervals we've covered the major intervals so this is a major second so to get a minor second we just lower that by one semitone so that interval is a minor second that's a major second minor second it's the same with the major third here to get a minor third we'd lower that to here so that's a minor third three steps up from the root note major minor then we've got the fourth which is neither major or minor and the fifth which is neither major or minor but then in between we've got this one very dissonant sounding 
this again is not major or minor the one in between the fourth and the fifth we can either call it a sharp fourth because if we take the fourth and raise it one semitone we sharpen it so we could call that a sharp fourth interval or an augmented fourth same thing or we could take the fifth and think of this as a flat fifth a lowered fifth so we could call it a flat fifth or a diminished fifth again flat and diminished in this case means the same thing so we've got sharp four or flat fifth for this interval six semitones above the root or six frets above the root note so we've got minor second major second minor third major third fourth sharp fourth or flat fifth fifth then our major six is here and again to get a minor six we would just lower that to there so that's minor six major six minor major then here we've got major seventh and again to get a minor seventh we just lower that one semitone so that's minor seven that's major seven and then we're at the octave and if we carry on we've got this note here which is like the second note of the scale again because the octave is the same as the first note of the scale the root note so the nine is the same as the second note of the scale so the nine is the same as the major second but one octave higher now that's relative to this this A here our low A if we were to make it relative to this A it would be a major second because we're only moving up two semitones so like that is a major second relative to that open A or relative to this A this is a major second relative to that A but relative to this A it becomes a 9 because we're going up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 from that root so you can think of the 9 as being the same as the major second but an octave higher an easy way to remember this is just to add seven to two so if you add seven to two you get nine now we don't say major nine we just say nine and we have nines elevens and thirteens when we're building chords we can have a c nine or a c eleven or a c thirteen we don't go beyond that we don't have a c15 or a c17 and we don't use the even numbers so we don't have a c12 or a c14 or a c10 so we have nines elevens and thirteens that's it so the nine is an octave above the major second and we can add seven to two to get nine we can do the same with the fourth if we add seven to four we get eleven if we go here it's the same note D but now it's eleven notes higher than this one eleven 
steps higher. So we can simply count through the scale steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So that's an eleven interval. It's just like a, a fourth interval. Then we can do the same with the major sixth interval. So there's the major sixth. And if we go one octave higher and get the same note, which is F sharp, one octave higher, and play that now with our root A, we've got a 13. You can hear how they sound similar. because we're using the same note but here is it's a six one two three four five six here it's a thirteen one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve thirteen so that's how we get to these nines elevens and thirteens so that's it for this lesson and in the next lesson We'll look at building some of these uh, 9 and 11 and 13 chords and I'll show you my approach and how I go about figuring out new chords from scratch. That's it from me today. I'll come back with the second part of this video lesson. Uh, it may not be next week, it might be actually the week after, but if I can get it up for next week, I'll do my best. Uh, and we'll look at building some chords using these extended 9s, 7s, 11s, 13s, etc. So I hope you'll be able to join me for that one. Stay safe, and that's all from me today. Bye for now. Well, thanks again for watching the channel. And if you do like this kind of content, please do like, comment, share, and remember, subscribe to the channel. That helps me out. If you do subscribe, remember, click the little bell notification so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. But thank you all again.